I think we get right into it. Please welcome back to the stage, the director of Michael and Mother, Sophie Goodhart. So I want to start off with this. This is a long journey with this film. Um, we talked about it a little bit, but it started as a short film uh, almost more than 13 years ago. So what? It's. I mean, this movie needed to be made. So what took you so long? <laughs> well, um, so originally the the short was based on my sister and my sister has multiple sclerosis, uh, and so I, I kind of shortly after she was diagnosed. I, I had the very embarrassing realization that I was jealous. And I was like, oh wow, that's really, really awful and ugly. I must write a film about that. Um, and yes, uh, so I did the short in 2002, 2003, and then I had other films um, that were financed and fell through. And I kept on sort of having parties at bars and saying, oh, I'm a success, who can I buy a drink for? And then I wasn't a success, and I had to stop buying drinks. And then about 10 years later I made this. Uh, and it was, it was hard to get made because uh, even though it doesn't seem like a very big film, shooting on water was expensive. Uh, and so we found a very nice producer in Ohio who gave us a room. Yeah. I think they have a good film incentive there. They have a very good film incentive. Go to Ohio. Uh, come here, we should get a better film incentive yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, and then also, I mean, did you have any concerns? It was hard to get uh, movie finance, but you know, dealt with a, a comedy that, that deals with you know, someone who has a disability, because that's a very fine line in terms of that could go very wrong. Yeah. Um, this obviously was very right, but it's, it's definitely it's a fine definitely line. Kind of, it, you know, it's a def it is a, it's a complicated line, uh, and uh, I think because the characters are kind of aware of the arguments and they sort of have shame surrounding that kind of resentment. Um, and then I had we had um, you know blind advisors the whole way through the production. So sort of during script, um, they would read and say that that doesn't that seems a bit complex. Or this doesn't. And then on set um, we had uh, again blind advisors helping the actors sort of work you know be kind of appropriate and kind of you know correct in movement and stuff like that. And okay. I like comedies about things that should. <laughs> and then, well, obviously you, you did it very well. Um, you know, you have a bit of an accent, but did you, did you always want to make an American comedy, or did it matter where it was? No, so, yeah, I like American films. Uh, in England, if you make a film, it always has to be about class. <laughs> it's either a working class movie or it's an upper class movie. And in America, all movies generally, not all movies, are. You make middle class movies, and it's sort of like it could be about an idea rather than about its politics. Uh, and so, I, and I think also somehow being foreign means that I can kind of my idea of every American, like a sort of nowhere America, can be kind of broad and non-descript. If that makes sense. So yes. it sort of maybe gives me a kind of certain detachment, which works. Uh. Assuming there's no questions from the audience, <laughs> right? So we can all go to the party. Uh, Gemini, my uh, favorite color is blue. Yes. Uh, why did you choose to film in Ohio and Cleveland? So why did you choose to film in Ohio? The money. The, <laughs> she wasn't joking. Yeah, they have a good film. Yeah, that so very good film incentive. So I did the short. The short film was shot in um, Westchester. Um, and um, and then we tried to, this was sort of, all, this film almost happened with a few different producers in it, but then trying to get it made for uh, between one and two million was complicated. Um, and Ohio has a really, really good tax incentive and a very nice um, sort of producer who likes to work with first time directors, um, which was also lovely. And did you, were you determined, did you always know you, you wanted to direct this? Did you ever think about letting someone else direct, or was it always? Uh, yeah, I mean, at a certain point, after sort of seven years of trying to make it, I was like, does anyone want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't let anyone do it. Um, but then this very nice producer said, you can do it. Uh, and so that was great. Um, but yeah, at a certain point, I kind of, my vanity and ego, you know, just gave up. I just thought I'd rather have the message. Oh, and the ideas shared 
but it was very nice to have been given the opportunity. What about the cast? Obviously, the probably the cast you may have thought of, of when you first wrote it is not the cast that ended up in it. So you had Nick Kroll, Jenny Slade, Adam Scott. Well, as soon as I had a cast, I got the money. So that was, you know, it was sort of November on a Wednesday. And I had Adam first, and then Nick and Jenny went the same day with each other in mind. And so as soon as I kind of had them, then about four minutes later, I got the money. Which was <laughs> Any other questions? Can, where can you see the shorts? Um, so the, the feature was bought by the stars, which is very nice. So um, uh, coming out in cinemas in September. Um, and I think they may, I don't know, whether they, the producers sold the short as well. The short has Tony Hale. Do you know who he is? He was in Arrested Development and V. Um, he plays Buster in Arrested Development. And he played um, Bill, Nick's character in the short. Um, so I don't know, there's, there's a kind of five minutes of the short just completely repeated in the feature. <laughs> so they may decide not to share that. <laughs> um, but maybe it might be on like a DVD or something like that, but they've taken it off the internet now. So that's great, so it's going to be released in theaters in September, like yeah. 25 markets, and then later it'll probably be on the Stars Network. Yeah, assuming. it's in day and day. You should see it in the theater and tell the people to see it in the theater, yes, of course. Yes, please. Uh, a few more questions before we wrap and go. Um, yes? Uh, what's next, Sophie? What, what are you doing next? So what are you going to do next once you get this film out? Well, I thought, I thought because we sold really quickly, I was like, now I can make all the others. But it turns out my themes are kind of dark and, and on paper don't seem very comedic. So I immediately thought I was going to make what I think is a very funny comedy about cheating. <laughs> and uh, three 40-year-old women cheating. Um, and, uh, but no one liked it, so I'm now trying to find something. <laughs> Everyone's like, that's way too dark. Like, that, this one was dark. So no, so I'm trying to make uh, kind of dark romantic comedies, and I'm meanwhile realizing that money is in television. So very quickly trying to write a television program <laughs> about the same thing. <laughs> Anyone else before we wrap? Um, thank you very much. So thank you for the amazing film. A great audience.